I've had a lot of spinal cord injuries. Um, the, the thing to remember about spinal cord injuries is they vary, of course. They could be neck, they could be back, uh, which are the primary areas of the spinal cord that are injured. There are things called pre-existing conditions, which means if somebody, for example, if they're my age, you have a pre-existing condition because you've got a lot of degenerative conditions in your spine. They may not be what we call symptomatic for causing pain. However, if the person strikes you and those conditions become symptomatic and they become painful, then the person who caused the crash is responsible for everything that follows the crash, irrespective of whether or not you had a pre-existing condition. If you end up with spinal pathology, like a, a herniated disc, um, facet joint issues, osteophytic complexes, that type of thing, and it requires surgery, the defendant is responsible for everything that follows the crash. So they're responsible for the costs of the surgery, the rehabilitation, any future surgeries. Those are all part and parcel of recoverable damages in that type of case.